Hope you guys are doing great. I'm glad you guys are here. I have got a q and A. I'm gonna do a little q and A for uh, for you guys. I had some questions. I was going through some videos and looking for some uh, commonly asked questions. Um, so I'm gonna answer a few of them for you guys today. The first one is, how do they decide who welds where on the pipeline? The welding boss um, usually goes off of experience. That's the that's the main answer there, is just experience. Um, he's gonna put the more experienced guys uh, running beads and uh, hot passing. And then, like your green welders, the guys that are, that are new, that just broke out, uh, he's most likely going to put on the fire line, just filling and capping. Um, this isn't the case with all jobs by any means, but um, that just gives you guys an idea of how you know how it works, how they decide and whatnot. Um, next question is, what size of beveling machine do you need to carry on your welding truck? Um, I don't hardly carry any anymore unless I know I'm going to a job um, that I'm that I'm gonna need them uh, but when I do carry them I carry a two to four two inch to four inch and then a four inch to eight inch that's mostly all I carry on my truck um, a lot of your contractors will supply the bell machines so you so you really shouldn't need to carry any but um, it just depends on where you're at and what kind of work you're into you know if you're doing a lot of uh, contract work you're gonna need you're gonna need your own tools you know and stuff like that so so but that would be a good starting point is a two to four and a four to eight uh, mine are both Matthew Deerman um, I got mine off of eBay I got them for a pretty good deal uh, for what they are so uh, if you guys need help you know looking for some for a good deal check out eBay they usually have um, some good deals on there and uh, same with a uh, barrel torch. Uh, I think I had a question there, said something about um, why we need a, be uh, a, a barrel torch. Um, the contractor is most likely gonna supply the beveling machine or the banding crawler. Uh, two different things, but they do the same thing. They, they bevel the pipe, um, but they won't necessarily supply the barrel torch. So each welder needs to have their own barrel torch. Um, I plan on doing a more extensive video on how to use a beveling machine and a banding crawler if uh, if I get a chance. Uh, I'm definitely going to do one on the beveling machine because I know I can get a hold of one of them. Um, but I, I do intend on getting some footage on uh, how to use a banding crawler also. And some tips on, on how to use those. Um, next question is do we use 7018 uh, or 8018, whatever, do we use uphill rod out here on the pipeline? Uh, the answer is yes. We, it's not, I'm gonna say it's not very common. Um, that's like that, this question come off the welding rod video. Uh, that welding rod video is just a generalization of, of mainline. Majority of your main lines are welded with 8010, 7010, you know, it's a downhill rod. Um, but, like, uh, for some instances that we use uphill rod are uh, on repairs. They have a procedure for repairs out here. Anytime there's a repair, not on all jobs. Sometimes you can fix them with downhill, but some repair procedures require you to fix it with uh, uphill. 7018 or 8018. Um, so there's an instance we use uphill rod out here. Uh, your maintenance work. I've done very little maintenance work, but I've never had to use uphill on maintenance work. Um, but like I, my brother's done some maintenance work. I've uh, got a lot of friends that have. Um, like digging up old lines, cutting old lines out, and tying into an old line. You're going to use uphill for that a lot of times. And for putting on sleeves. They put on sleeves on lines that have been in the ground for a long time and the walls are getting thin. They'll, they'll dig them up and put uh, just a thick sleeve on each side and they, and they weld 
they weld down each side and they weld on the ends and all that's uphill um, so all your maintenance work is a lot of its uh, uphill rod um, what else oh fittings last year I was on a job where they wanted all the fittings on the main line to be welded with uphill so so we do use 7018 out here it's just most new construction main line is downhill uh, let's see what size of welding lead do I use I use number one or one aught uh, you can definitely start out with number two I ripped down this chart and hopes that it'll help you guys number six being the smallest and four aught being the biggest I use uh, I think I normally get a one aught but it's real similar to the number one there but uh, that's it's a good size to start out with anywhere from a number two to a one aught and then like your like your whip that you might use you know if you've got a one aught weld lead most of your weld leads one aught you might want like a number two whip or a number three even um, you can get away with like a short whip if you're you know close to the ground a lot but if you're ever up on a ladder for any reason you know doing um, you know just anything up in some scaffolding or whatever uh, station work you might be up off the ground a little bit um, or like for instance where I'm at I'm on 42 inch and I'm up on a ladder for every single weld so you want your whip to be long enough to hit the ground that way you're not picking up because if you run out of whip you're going to be picking up on your on your heavy lead so uh, you can always wrap it up around your ladder or something you know or you can do different things you definitely do not need a whip whip is not um necessary some guys i know just run number two lead all the way up to the weld machine and uh I mean, you just don't you don't need a whip i know guys that run number one and one on just all the way up to their stinger you know you don't you don't need a whip but it's just it's just nice to have sometimes um, just depends on what type of work you're doing most, you know. And let's see. Next question is, do you need mud tires and do you need a four-wheel drive on your welding truck? The answer is no. It is not required. It is not a necessity. Um, main reason I have mud tires and a lift and four-wheel drive is because uh, I'm up in this area a lot where the terrain, you know, I'm on hillsides a lot and the terrain just just a lot a lot worse, I guess you could say, up here, so it's easier to get around and I, I was I used to work for different contractors that didn't blade the right of way, you know, very often they didn't take care of the white the right of way like they should have. So I mean, um and not only not only for work but for personal use. You know, I like having uh full wheel drive and mud tires for my personal use you know if I'm off in the ditch or off out in the pasture or something or if I get in a situation at home you know on my on my time I, uh, I like to have full wheel drive it comes in handy uh, but it's not not you do not have to have it um, I definitely would not worry about it if you're just starting out my first welding truck did not have mud tires or a lift I mean it did have uh, it was full wheel drive but um, definitely do not need it and uh, like I know my next truck the tires the tires on my truck now stick out about an inch and that looks cool and everything but it just gets mud all over the pickup hard to keep clean so my next truck the fenders are gonna come out a little further to cover up them tires but uh, anyway I think that's that's gonna be it for today's video um, I hope I was able to answer some questions that you guys had. Uh, go check out, for those of you who are new, go check out our family channel, Austin and Kayla. Um, go check out Industrial Tradition. We haven't mentioned that in a while. Uh, it's been kind of slow going, but we are trying to get rid of our hats. Um, the navy blue ones are on sale for $25 if you guys are interested. Uh, once we once we can get the rest of our hats sold, we're gonna 
or pretty close to the rest of them sold. We're going to put in a new order for more hats and we are working on, once we can get, get rolling a little more, a little faster, uh, we plan on getting some more t-shirt designs, uh, not only with industrial tradition, but different, different lines of, uh, like designs that we're wanting to do and carry in our, in our store, industrial tradition. So go check it out. If you guys, uh, like I said, are new to the channel or don't know anything about it or have forgot because we haven't mentioned it in a while. Um, and like I said, ask, ask some more questions. Uh, I, I love questions. I love being able to share, uh, questions to help you guys and anyone else watching. Um, and, uh, let me know what else we can help you with. Hope you guys have an awesome weekend and, uh, be careful out there and remember, learn something every day. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next Friday. Oh, 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 sorry. If you're new to this channel, uh, every Friday, 5 o'clock Central Time, I try to post a video here. And then on our family channel, we try to post on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 5 o'clock Central Time. We've missed a couple days here and there on our channel, but that is what we normally try to do. Thanks, guys.